On the pond, Niner Heavy, ATIS is Alpha. Hello everyone, in today's video we will be discussing about the electrical system in an Airbus A320. We will discuss about the AC and DC power sources, power source priority, generator control unit, various electrical panels and circuit breakers. Now, let's start with it. The A320 electrical system is comprised of AC and DC systems. The AC system is 3 phase 115 200 volts and the DC system is 28 volts. The aircraft's AC electrical power sources are 2 engine driven AC generators, 1 APU driven AC generator, an emergency AC generator powered by the ram air turbine via the blue hydraulic system, and external power. If all other power sources are inoperative, a static inverter will convert battery DC power into AC power, for limited use. The aircraft DC electrical power is supplied through two main transformer rectifiers, which convert AC power to 28 volts DC power. The DC system has a backup essential transformer rectifier which will power the essential DC system from the emergency generator, in the event of failure of the three main generators, or if TR1 and TR2 are faulty. As a backup, two batteries can power some of the DC circuits, if all other power sources are inoperative. Each of the two engine-driven generators, or the APU generator, is capable of supplying the entire aircraft network. If all three main generators fail, the emergency generator can supply part of the AC and DC systems. When there is more than one power source available, the power source chosen to supply electrical power depends on its priority. When operating, the engine-driven generators have priority over the APU generator, and over external power. External power has priority over the APU generator, when the external power push button switch is selected on. The APU has priority over the emergency generator and the batteries. The emergency generator and batteries have the lowest priority. To memorize the order, the acronym GEAR B can be used. The electrical generators are automatically controlled and monitored by generator control units, or GCUs, and external power is controlled by a ground power control unit, or GPCU. The GCUs and GPCU determine which power source takes priority by controlling the generator line contactors. Talking about the control panels. The ELECT control panel is located on the overhead panel. The EMER ELECT power panel is located on the left side of the overhead panel. The ECAM ELECT page is automatically displayed in the event of an electrical fault or can be displayed by pressing the ELECT push button switch on the ECAM control panel. The external power connector is located forward of the nose gear. With external power avail and not in use lights, located on the interphone panel. The various aircraft electrical components are protected by two main types of circuit breakers or CBs. The green or monitored CBs will trigger the ECAM warning CB tripped, if the CB is out for more than one minute. The black CBs are unmonitored. The red CBs are for the wing tip brakes which can only be reset by maintenance on the ground. Thank you for watching. Remember a good pilot is always learning, signing off. Three is clear to Los Angeles International, fly runway heading, Kennedy 1.5 BME, right turn 100, and at 5, climb 5000, expect 30010, miss after, squad 3343. United 703, ATIS is Alpha, contact ground when you're ready to attack. Thank you very much, United 703.